New movement in the years-long debate over the future of 81 in Syracuse. Officials with St. Joseph's Hospital are pushing for the community grid option. Let's get the facts first on CBS 5 News at 6. These are the three options currently being discussed. The community grid would carry traffic through the city from downtown to other streets. A tunnel option or rebuild the I-81 viaduct in the same footprint where it stands now. For many, the debate continues on what the best option should be. New at 6, CBS 5's Tara Gibbons has the story. What to do with the elevated section of I-81 in downtown Syracuse will impact the community for decades. St. Joseph's Hospital Health Center, which is not far from 81, wants the community grid option. Supporters say it's the option that will bring the area together. This is all part of our mission. So our mission is to be a compassionate, transforming, healing presence within our community. Leslie Paul Luke, CEO and president of St. Joe's, says it's all about keeping people in the area healthy. He says the current structure divides people. I don't think there was enough thought about how it would create the amount of poverty that's here in Syracuse. And as you've looked at the statistics over time, poverty has continued to grow here in Syracuse. And as a result, the overall health has declined. Luke says this isn't a business decision. We just feel like Syracuse now has the opportunity to make a real difference and make a better decision. The future of 81 is a hotly debated topic. Well, you know, frankly, I think St. Joe's has got it backwards. Salina Town Supervisor Mark Dakotra is a supporter of saving Interstate 81 and rebuilding it how it is now. He believes it benefits the city of Syracuse and other areas around central New York. All those cars, 80,000 plus vehicles a day that are utilizing um, the highway now are going to be flooded through city streets, which is going to be a worse impact. Earlier this year, Governor Andrew Cuomo ordered an additional study, and those results will be released early next year. Then the State Department of Transportation will make its recommendation. It will be interesting to see what really a lot comes of down. To so many and so many opinions too. Mm -hmm. So thanks. Thank you, Tara. For a closer look at every option.